Krista Tarns here, your expert real estate advisor in Central Florida, and today I'm going to bring you my top tips on what not to do when you are selling your home. So my first tip is don't stay in the house when you have a showing. And this is a really, really important tip. And I know that some agents really don't care if their seller is in the house. And I can never understand why that is, because let me tell you guys, it is so awkward when you walk into a home and you want to show it. And like the owner is in his um, undershirt sitting his computer eating lunch. You just feel like you have intruded on this person. And that is a true story. I showed a house and the guy was in his t-shirt eating his lunch and he just kind of called over his shoulder like, hey guys, don't mind me. And we can't help but mind him because you know instantly the buyer is reminded that there is somebody else who lives there. She can't imagine her furniture in it. She's not interested in it. And we're walking around the house tiptoeing and whispering because we don't want him to hear what we're trying to talk about. Um, for the most part, you know, I know some sellers are afraid that the buyer is going to do something to the home or steal something. Um, most agents are not wasting their time with buyers who aren't pre-qualified. We are working with serious people who want to buy your home and want to look at it. And um, I mean, I can't think of a single instance where I've ever had anything go astray during a showing. I don't think it's a big concern. I'm sure it can happen, but it doesn't happen a lot. Um, and finally, I know that you know your home better than anybody else and you're so tempted to like do the grand tour, uh, the arm sweep, this is the kitchen. But you know what, we can tell that that's the kitchen and not the master bedroom. It, it's okay, we'll get the, if we have questions about the home, we will contact your, the, the other agent and find out the answers. But please, your whole goal when you're, telling, when you're selling your house is to take yourself out of it so that you have a blank canvas and your buyers, your potential buyers can see themselves and envision themselves in that space. My second tip is uh, of what not to do is to not pay attention to how your home smells. Every home has an odor and, and you, if it's your home that you're living in, you probably can't detect it anymore. So your goal is, you know, open the windows, um, neutralize it. Don't spray a whole lot of heavy florals. Uh, I don't even really like those plug-in air fresheners that you, you stick in the wall because some, some buyers are really, really sensitive to that. Um, don't take a shower right before a showing. It just makes the bathroom feel damp. It, it brings a certain odor, whether it's your deodorant or your toothpaste or whatever, or your soap. It just, it just reminds us once again that there's another person there and it makes it difficult for your buyer to envision themselves in that property. Along the same lines, don't cook right before a showing. Um, it's gonna, that odor is gonna linger in the air and even if it is your favorite meal, um, your buyer may hate it. Or it might be a pregnant lady and they may feel sick. I've had all kinds of stuff happen. Just try to avoid doing that. Um, treat yourself to a nice meal in a restaurant if you can't come up with anything else and you're starving. It's, it's, worth, it's worth the extra effort to get out of your home a little bit early and not leave any lingering odors in there. My next tip on what not to do is really, really uncomfortable to talk about, but it's really important and that is don't offer too low of a commission to the buyer's agent. I know it's really, really tempting. I know you're looking at this and thinking, gosh, this is thousands and thousands of dollars I could save. But I think the best way I can describe this to you is if you think of like a car lot and maybe there's a bonus on one of the cars and one of the cars doesn't have a bonus and it has a really low commission to the salesperson, what car do you think they're gonna push? You want your home to be um, first on the list. You want it to be something that agents wanna show. And if you offer too low of a commission, that's just not gonna be the case. Again, I appreciate that this is a really, really gross topic to talk about and it makes us all sound <laughs> kind of sleazy as agents, but it's really important and it's worth mentioning. Another tip I wanna bring up that's really important is of what not to do is don't make it difficult to show your home. Now, I know you live in your house and your family is with you probably, or other people live there, maybe you have roommates, but if you're asking for something like 48 hours advance notice, um, it just makes it so difficult for us as agents working with buyers to get in and see your house. So sometimes like I recently finished up with two families who had been transferred here and they both had like just a couple of days to fly in, look all over the place and fly home and they were gonna make up their decision. So I only knew 
you know, if they can't, they kind of looked at a bunch of houses, went back to the computer and, and chose what we were going to look at the next day. I had like maybe three hours to, to get all this stuff sorted out. So if you're asking for 48 hours or if you're saying like you can only show it on Saturdays, you're going to cut out a lot of buyers that could potentially look at your house that aren't going to be able to. So do make your home accessible, as accessible as you possibly can. So those are some of my top tips. Um, that I talk about with my sellers when we're getting ready to list, list a home. And if that's something that you would like to talk about with me, I would love to hear from you. Again, my name is Krista Tarns and I am your expert real estate advisor in Central Florida. Love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.